We're using molecular networking and mass spec for some clinical applications to uh, the genetic disease cystic fibrosis. I'm actually using molecular networking uh, in a problem where I'm looking at a fungal infection that's killing North American bats. The project deals with working with cyanobacterial extracts and find new compounds and find analogs of uh, known compounds. We used molecular networking to comprehensively compare the metabolic profile of these closely related strains and from that we can discover compounds that have previously been isolated as well as analogues of known compounds and um, excitingly we've discovered new molecules from Solanospora as well so you could probably do the, the analysis in a couple of months so it's, it's really really quick. I've been able to identify over 10 new barbamides in these 300 crude extracts that we were analyzing. This is just one example uh, where new uh, analogues of the known molecules were found. We found analogues which were depth specific. We also found analogues which were location specific. Uh, telling us about the bio-geo diversity of the molecules that cyanobacteria is making. So basically we're collecting clinical samples from the hospital, from patients, and they're frozen in liquid nitrogen. We're particularly looking for um, clinical information, so if a patient gets very sick all of a sudden, what are the molecules that are changing in their lung that might be indicating uh, why they're getting sick, or perhaps maybe indicators of future uh, disease flares. It's an untargeted approach, so it's really led us down avenues that we would not have thought of before. So in cystic fibrosis lungs, what we're seeing is that particular specialized lipids are very um, dynamic and variable in the lung, and some of the most abundant molecules that we're seeing. We're thinking that these lipids might be indicating different stages of disease, or maybe simple indicators of um, changes in the lung that we could then predict. So I actually got my samples from, they were actual deceased bats that were collected by someone at the Pennsylvania Game Commission. And then I was able to actually do mass spec directly on the wings using an ambient technique. And then those molecules were fragmented by the mass spec and I was able to actually network those with molecular networking. It makes everything so much easier. It's fantastic, I love it. And I especially love the libraries that are available because you can then, uh, even after you're done with your network, you can just see what everybody else has input into the library and see if you have any hits. You can find things you never even thought of that might be there. Um, and it really can lead you down some interesting paths.